Hey, Gorefield here. As you can see, I'm getting ready to do this big, huge um, pickups video. Um, these are ones I've done over the last three or four months, so um, join me. Kick back, hang out, and bullshit with me while I show everybody what I picked up. Let's get to it right now. My son's over in the next room playing D&D &D with his friends, so if you hear somebody else talking, that's what it is. So, let's kick it off here. Uh, Vestron, put out not too long ago, um, the Dennis Collection. So, Dennis 1 and 2. We get the same thing on the inside over here. If anyone hasn't seen the dentist, um, it's really, he's really crazy. Corman Burnson really does a great job in these. This is a really good pickup. <clears throat> Urban Cowboy. Say what you will about John Travolta, but this is a really kick-ass film. Um, it's one of my favorites from him. It's a lot of nostalgia with me. Um, Quentin Tarantino, when, when he said John Travolta put out his best performance in this film, he, he wasn't bullshitting because John Travolta does a great job in this. And also Sissy Spacek, right here, Sissy Spacek, great in this. She, she's not just adorable but she does a great job in this i recommend this check this film out <clears throat> maniac when i did a um i did a uh, watch along with uh jt's horror discussions and sean blue digital my partner for uh for the horror of it on tuesday nights um we we talked about doing this and that caused me to go ahead and snatch this up Something I've been thinking about for a while, haven't done yet. See, so yeah, see, as you see, it's got the uh, reversible here. <clears throat> but yeah, really, really good remake. It's one of the better remakes. <clears throat> the cool thing about remakes is, is, and the key to it is, is, is to, is to remake it in, with your own style. Don't try to redo what somebody else already did. They've all they they've obviously you know you get something like Psycho or you know anything like that. Um, they've already done it really well. You're not going to beat how they did it. So so do your own thing with it. Boyhood. This is a movie done over um, over like a 12 year period. Um, let me see. You got you got Patricia Arquette. You got Ethan Hawke. Um, let me see. And basically what you have here is, is over a 12-year period of time, they age them in real time. This little boy right here, he ends up being like 18 or 20 years old. I don't remember. It's been a few weeks since I've seen it now. But it is a great film. Richard Linklater does a great job on this. I hope to see him do some more like this. I recommend this one as well. <clears throat> this, was a, this was a birthday present. I had my 50th birthday here not too long ago. And this is number two in the list that, that I that I needed for this. And this he took this right out of his own collection. But my oldest son, uh, Drake Kane, you guys might know him, sent this to me for my birthday. It was a great, great present. 
One of them I needed for the 88 film slasher collection is the Toolbox Murders. This is this is a good slasher. Um, back from like the late 70s, I do believe. Let me see. What year did this come out? So you can help me find it here. Um, I don't remember. It seems like it's from like 78 or so. But this is a really good one. Great bathtub scene too. <clears throat> I wanted to upgrade Burial Ground. Because I have the uh, Severin uh, Blu-ray. Which looks fine. But this right here, I'm not sure how much of an upgrade it is. I mean, it's got the, you know, it's got the great original artwork there. It's got the great slip. But in my opinion, this particular version right here might be a little dark. I think I might still prefer the Severn edition. But this is still a good release from 88 films. And one of the better zombie films ever made, Burial Ground. <clears throat> All right, let me see here. We go here we'll go here house of a thousand courses there's that there's that one um 25th anniversary edition or 20th anniversary edition or whatever uh, that bigger box set but i kind of preferred this one this is a beautiful steel book take this off you know right here you got dr satan really cool right here on the back you got this and basically you got it where you open it up and you got the full picture here Really nice release. It looks really great too. It's not the 4K. I don't think they 4K this yet, but this is a really nice edition. This is the one that I recommend. Although I do want the other one. <clears throat> Vinegar Syndrome. Um, they they always put out the greatest, and they they still in my opinion get the best. I mean, listen to this. You talk about the tap test. Listen to that. Great, great, great slip covers. And look at that. You got the shiny right here. I don't think it's been shattered, which takes from the original, the original poster art. Um, really good release. Graduation day, awesome. With, with a young unknown at that point, um, Linnea Quigley. It's also got Christopher George in it. This is one um, from Snaps. Um, this is one that I really enjoy. Um, I've heard a lot of people hate on this film, but I actually enjoy it. I, I, I think it's fun. I think it's got um, some really good performances. You know, you got Catherine Winnick here, you know, and she, you know, and I, I think she's hotter than hell. Um, and she's, you know, it's it's just a good film. Um, the little boy does a great job. They do a great job of, of, you know, making it to where you can actually believable this might be the boyfriend. Even though it really is, you know, some crazed killer. You know, and a great slipcover. Fun film. I don't get the hate for it. Now this, now I'm, I won't take this out of the plastic. But this is a kick-ass film. From, from Jess Franco. I am a Jess Franco fan. He does a lot of, uh, with that Eurosexual <laughs> horror. But this is a really good one. She killed in ecstasy. You know, it's one of, um, two of them. Let's see here, let me pull this back just a little bit. I got this on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, th this is the uh, sequel to Vampir Vampiros Lesbos. And, you know, you know what you get from Jess Franco. And it's a great release, and I got it for a great price. Uh, all right. Now here, I collect the 101 um, Black Label, and they're the ones that are numbered here. And I got this for an awesome price. Class of 1984. Really good film. Um, you got Perry King. You got a Roddy McDowell. You know, in a great, crazy role. In. And in these... Uh, I won't say anything out so here. And these 101 editions, man. You always get this booklet. And you get a decent box with it. Uh, Class of 1984. Number 7. From 1982. You get David Cronenberg's Rabbit, even though I have this this uh, on Stream Factory, and I have it several other editions. Um, I really wanted this one. I really love the original artwork on it. Um, 1977, number nine is Dick Cronenberg's Rabbit. True story. Uh, it's known as the Snowtown Murders, but the film's called Snowtown, and this guy right here does a chilling performance, man. This is a really good film. Number 24 in that edition. Snowtown.
And this right here came from, uh, I mentioned my partner for, for the horror of it on Tuesday nights. I saw him Blue Digital. He runs the contests all, all the time. You know, he ran his, uh, this was, I think this was his 1,000 subscriber contest. And um, if you don't subscribe to him, go over and subscribe to him. Um, this is number 28 in the collection. This is Ghost Watch. I have not seen this yet, but I won this. You know, he does a little wheel thing, and it landed right on my name. So here it is, Ghost Watch. Uh, all right, let's go here. Uh, copycat. This I got for five bucks off of Amazon. It's a really good show. Sigourney Weaver plays agoraphobic, which I know a lot about because I'm agoraphobic. Um, so it, it really hits home when when you watch it. When I see the fear and I feel it, see the panic in her, I, I really get it. Harry Connick Jr. does a great job in it. You got Dermot Moroney, which is doing a lot of stuff nowadays. You know, you can see him in um, the new Scream movies. Um, he's also in the third um, Insidious. But this is this is a pretty good one. Unsung slasher, kick-ass slasher movie. You've got nudity. You got the kills. You got a good killer called Lover Boy. Anyway, if you've not seen this, it is a crime, man. You got to see Girl House. Go check it out. Searching, great found footage film. I am a found footage film if it's done correctly. Um, but this is a good one. This is about a man whose daughter disappears. And he has to go through her computer and all that kind of stuff to try to find out what's happened to her. Check it out. It's a good one. Searching. Leap of Faith. Great documentary. I've never heard anyone speak like William Freakin. Anytime this guy talks, man, I am right there wanting to listen. This is so interesting. Leap of Faith. If you like The Exorcist, if you dig Freakin's work, check out this documentary. I got this for like 15 bucks with the slipcover off Amazon. Go get it. Go check it out. I, I re-got this. I, I used to have this. Uh, this is Get Out from uh, Jordan Peele. And I think still to this day, his, his best film, in my opinion. Um, you, you can get this off Amazon or Walmart or just any of these places. And you can get it for a decent price. I end up getting this for like four or five bucks off eBay. I recommend it. Let's get out. This one kind of pisses me off. I got this one at Walmart. Or, yeah, at Walmart. And it was in one of those plastic cases. You know, those plastic protective anti-theft cases. Well, I didn't notice it when I got it. But when they took it out of the plastic case, she took it out and she scanned it. And she put it in the bag. And I didn't see when I got home that it had this damage to it. And if you know me and you know my collection, you know that that just doesn't fly. I can't stand that, um, but I, I went, I tried to take it back, but when I took it back, it, um, they didn't have any more. They, they was all sold out of them. So I ended up sticking with this one until I can find a better slipcover. Anyone out there has got a better slipcover they like go of real cheap, let me know so I can throw it on here because it's driving me crazy. It has to be this Walmart one. But this is a great film. I loved it so much more than X. Not not that I disliked X. I, I did like X. But I, I think it's just it had been hyped up so much. And it had been talked about so much. By the time I finally seen it, you know, you know, there was only one way to go but down, right? You know, you hear, you know, you hear so much hype on something that when you're like, oh, man, you know, and you see it. And then it's just not what you expected it to be. It's not nearly as good. It can never live up to the hype, in other words. But this film, this is a great film. Mia Goth is incredible in it. I definitely recommend it. Now, now, a lot of people are big on Brandon Cronenberg. I'm not quite as big. I got this at the same time that I tried to take back the Pearl. I went ahead and snatched this. I went ahead and blind bought it. Uh, I've seen Antiviral. Um, you see, of course, this one and Possessor. And I'm just not huge on, on him yet. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you know, I've only seen his films one time each. Maybe they're second watch type things. But I'm still more on his dad. But good pickup anyway. Now, this is a controversial one. A lot of people don't like this movie. I think this film is terrifying. In a real kind of way. I'm a big fan of this film. I got it when it first came out on Amazon. I snatched it up. 
I haven't watched this particular version of it yet, but I have seen the film and I love the film. It's got nice and you know raised embossed here. Very cool. I love it. Alright. Do some uh, a little bit of Screen Factory and Kino Lover. How about that? I ordered the uh pre-ordered the uh, Screen Factory 4K uh creep show. I have not watched it on 4K yet, but I do have this and, and I got the deluxe slip cover, which I think is beautiful. Came with the uh came with the sticker. I got the model that came with the two slip covers, the two posters, and the sticker. So anyway, yeah, this is the creep show 4K. Of course underneath it, you know, underneath it you got that that artwork. So yeah, and uh, I just stuck in a, a, a you know just a, a blank one here on them this one so I could display them both. Uh, Old girl was done a lane. I should have watched part of this a couple days ago. I think it's a really good film. Young Jodie Foster, young creepy ass Martin Sheen. He plays the one hell of a creepy perv. This is a really good good show. This is Kino Lover, Little Girl List Down the Lane. Pre-ordered this. Love this film. Robert Mitchum is absolutely chilling in this. By the Hunter. I, I the only other version I had of this was one from like China, and it's a good release, but I wanted it on 4K. And Kino Lover has just been killing it for a while now. <clears throat> Charles Bronson, The White Buffalo. This is a really good show. This one was nostalgic to me. I've watched it since I was a kid. My mom introduced me to it. It's really cool. It's really good. Um, Charles Bronson plays Wild Bill Hickok in it. And, you know, it's really good. And it really shows that the breakdown between, you know, this is the times where the Cowboys and Indian thing, you know what I mean? They were going at each other. And it really shows that that's broken down and how they can be friends and stuff and come together to try to take down this white buffalo that's going through and killing all these all these different tribes of the, of the Native Americans. You know, and they kind of join up together to try to take this thing out. It's a really good movie. Check out the white buffalo. Uh, now, from a good friend of mine, Jason over, over at Ginger Ninja, JK, um, sent me this as a gift. This is limited to a thousand a company that I don't know of all that well yet. Um, but I am going to check it out. Got original artwork there. Yeah, it's from Via Vision, but it's limited to a thousand. Um, it's got nice little art cards here in this. Here, here I'll show them to you real quick. Uh, really nice release on this, man. That's there. Yeah, Mick Taylor, he is so, so good. The one that starts there. There, you show some torture scenes there. The old good old Mick, but yeah, really, really nice release. Really, really appreciate it from my from my good friend Ginger Ninja. Um, I'm gonna, gonna do a watch party uh, tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, of this. So if you guys are around, definitely check this out. This I waited for a long time to get this. This is absolutely fantastic. This is my like ninth or tenth version. Of Maniac. Um, comes with this booklet. And as you can see, this is known as the VHS edition. So you got the VHS on that side, and you got it on that side. And it is absolutely awesome. It has all, every version you can think of of Maniac. I mean, look, you come this way. Look at that. Every different disc, including the soundtrack. Absolutely beautiful. And then on this side, you turn it around. You got this art. Let's get a good look at it right there. Look at that, man. Yes, but yeah, absolutely great. Um, let's see if I can get this thing back in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, of course, like I said, look, here's the back of it. Right there, right there. This is like the ultimate edition of this film. Look, all color pages. that right there yeah beautiful Carolyn Monroe yes yes well I'm so happy to finally get this this thing runs so expensive I've seen it run a hundred bucks and all this kind of stuff and I knew I wasn't gonna be paying that for it right uh, one second let me get this thing in here correctly um I know I'm gonna pay a hundred bucks for it right but off eBay there was a guy 
that uh, sent me a, sent me a really good uh, deal on it. So for like 55 bucks, I ended up getting it, and to me, it was well worth it. It was well worth that 55. There, there's the card. See, it's fantastic. Beautiful maniac. I love this thing. Another one I love that I finally got my hands on. I got I took a big chance, got this from Amazon. This is the complete novel. Uh, the Outsiders. Right here, he opens up. Look, you got all these right here, man. Uh, of course, soundtrack with it. You know, you get all this in here. Uh, try to hold this up just a little bit. All right. And over here, got your cards. All the different stars of the movie. Uh, and then, I'll show you the posters here in a minute. Uh, there's the cards. And then here's the original art for the poster. Let me show you here. Original art for the poster. And then over here, with your second poster. You get the newly commissioned Studio Canal art. So, yeah. great film. I love this film. Um, there's still pe there's still people out there that you know question whether this is actually a Francis Ford Coppola film, but trust me, guys, it is. Yeah, so about one that's really going up in price. If you're gonna get it, you better get it now. Uh, they have it on Amazon. Uh, you can get it for like sixty bucks. Oh, and it comes with this little pin. Stay gold. But, yeah. If you're going to get it, you better get it soon because it's not going to be around long. Oh, yeah. Nice, cute, nice addition. Talk about the passing of the chat test. But, yeah, this is the 4K version. Best version of this there is, as far as I know. Beautiful. I'm sure you can help. And then the Warriors from in print. Not too much bells and whistles of this. I was actually a little disappointed in it. You got the theatrical cut there, and then you got the director's cut there. Not a whole lot to show with it. A little disappointing, but it is a really nice release. Between them and Safety Stand, 20,000 cops and 100,000 sworn enemies. They've got one way out, one chance, one night. You get that dude from the Furies. Yeah. Warriors. Um, now you talk about great releases. Yeah, I gotta go through all these. I gotta show you guys these things, man. At least the art card. You got Martin, nice 4K Martin. You got it right there. Great booklet. And then I gotta show you these beautiful art cards. Just real quick, like, I don't make this video too long. Yeah. Yeah. Great release. Second Sight. Second Sight is killing it, man. They are absolutely the best. Now, I have to show you this, too. Now, these right here, now this right here is one of the, this could be the release of the year, in my opinion. Right yeah, here, look. You got the films right here. Oh, and then you take this, and you got the full. Now, now, remember, guys, this is all art. This is all brand, this is all brand new commissioned art, you know. But that's not a picture. It is a book. Great book. I mean, this is an actual book. It just tells everything about the film. And now you see our cards. Now, if you order it straight from Second Sight, you got these three extras. You got this one. Well, here first. First, let, let me show you the ones that come with it regularly. You got this one, this one, Grandpa. This great color. Other face. You get her eye. You get her. Now, if you order straight from there, straight from Second Sight, you get the extra three. There's that one. Beautiful. Beautiful Pam hanging on the thing. There's a little face snatching Pam. And then there's the nice, beautiful cinematography that's shot from underneath the swing. So, yeah. Great release. And like I said, I think maybe the best release of the year. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Had to get it. Second Sight is just killing it, guys.
Just killing it. All right, let me see here. Um, uh, grab these. Pull these in here. We'll have to stretch all the way across every time. Uh, all right, so. All right. We got Rocky One Still Book, Best Buy Exclusives. You got the first Rocky. You got the second Rocky. I'll show you a little bit of stuff inside there. Really nice, nice, nice 4Ks. Uh, Rocky Three. I love the color. I love that black and white with the uh, with the red. And I think that is just badass. There. Um, got a few DVDs here. Um, got another one too that I, that, uh, well, I was going to show you, but I'll, I'll, I got in the other room. I'll show it to you next time. Anybody that watched HBO back in the day seen um, the show The Autopsy with uh, Michael Bodden and they're like the first of their kind. But this is season one. This is season one and two. This is yeah one and two, and then this is one that show it's autopsies on like celebrities. So they're really cool. I think they're like a bucker bucker sold a piece off eBay. <clears throat> Complete season one of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Anybody as old as I am knows Rocky and, knows Rocky and Bullwinkle. And all the little shorts they did. So, really cool. Um, some regular DVDs. This film right here, I didn't come here to die. One of the best horror film debuts since Sam Raimi unleashed the evil dead upon the world from Blade. Disgusting. I don't know about all that, but it is a good show. I do like it a lot. If you get a chance to watch it, I do recommend it. It's I didn't come here to die. Classic, wonderful film. Lon Chaney Jr. does a fantastic job, and so does Burgess Meredith. Great show of Mice and Men, and, it, uh, and a great little, you know, DVD from Image Entertainment. Now, a couple weeks ago, Sean and I, on uh, For the Horror of It, did Bug, and I didn't have it yet. I, I got it, and I was waiting for it. I ordered this for just a few bucks, got the slipcover. They do not have this on Blu-ray yet in the United States. This is a good show, good show. It's basically about paranoia, and it's a William Friedkin film. Charles Ashley Judd, Michael Shan, of course, Harry Connick Jr., Michael Shan. The first time I've ever seen Michael Shan was in this movie when it first came out. Great show. I'm a Samaro. Might as well show you some of this stuff here. This is um, one of the newest releases from Arrow. It's The Lighthouse. Nice, newly commissioned artwork there. Of course, you got that. Uh, nice little booklet of it right there. And you got the, the reversible poster. Uh, got new commissioned artwork right here. And then you got the original. Ooh, be careful. And basically what you got, you know, you, you got you got a 4K. You got the 4K. And then you got some cards right here. But I won't get into showing you every single little, little card there. But it's a good release. Don't go in the house. Really cool little, uh, I think it's in 19, oh, 1979. Um, Turbine Films Incorporated, yeah. This is another good release from Arrow. Don't go in the house. It's a really, really cool one. There's original artwork. It's a nice little release. Wild Things, finally got my hands on the 4K of it. I waited, waited, waited until I got done like 30 bucks, got my hands on it. There we go. It's a nice release too. Good show. Really good show. Kevin Bacon, Matt Dillon, Dave Campbell, you know. Uh, now some some um, some little clip, some little uh, snap hard, case, hard cases here. This is limited to 250. This is number 148. And this is City of the Living Dead. Nothing really to show on there. There's little hard cases that I collect, little limited editions. Now, this you feel out there. It's really nice. This is uh, this remake of my Spin on Your Grave, unrated. There's little blue rays and little hard cases. Nothing, nothing really special about them. Laid to Rest. Really cool in here. Go ahead and cover up the boobages, just in case. <laughs> boobages. Ooh, nice boobages. Anyway. Yeah, laid to rest a good one. Doesn't get as much love as it should. Not well, nearly as well known as it should be. But I, I think it's a really good slasher. Got some really good, really good gore in it. 
You got Lena Hetty there. Uh, you got um, Kevin, Kevin Cage is in it from uh, Blow and uh, D. Snyder Strangeland. Good show, Lady Red. Now, how about some new books? Look at this cover, man. That is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful artwork on this thing. It is stunning. I love it. It's Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Great media book. You got the widescreen version. You got a filming bonus right there. Very, very nice. Very nice. Bad Boys. Great film from 1983. Um, Sean Penn. Here's the back of it. Sean Penn with one of his greatest performances of all time in it. You get writing in German, so I really can't read a whole lot to you right through there. But, you know, of course, the film is in English. Yeah. These are both from Turbine. Now, this this one, this one is from Digidream Studios. And, oh, yeah, th this is also limited to, like, 500. This here, this is limited to 444. This is number 202. It's the Boogeyman. Doesn't get as much love as it should. But I like it. I think it's very unique. I think it's very ballsy. I think it, you know, it's more like a supernatural boogeyman. It's like you, you can't see him. But it's like if you break the mirror, it's like the opposite. You know, usually if you break break the mirror, you know, they're they're done. They can't come out. Well, in this one, if you break the mirror, he can come out. So, Lucio Fulci South Florida Cemetery. Really nice new book. I had to get this one. It's limited to a thousand. It's number six hundred and thirty-three. Joe Fulci's, um, he fixed that. Right back here, you got that art. Lucio Fulci's House of Cemetery is my favorite of that trilogy. Uh, great show. Mother's Day. I saw Mother's Day earlier. My son sent me that one. I also got this one right here. It's moved to 666. This is number 289. This this is a fun one. This this is a really good show. I'm looking to do a watch on this here pretty soon. I did one with uh, Ninja last year, last fall. But yeah. And last, uh, this is the John Wick collection. This is um, basically got this for my son, but it, it's in the collection. It's right here, and this is you know this is the best buy exclusive. Um. right here right here it's kind of got this book here and it houses three steel books with this little card here this picture just like in the film and then you got these three steel books and you got some more cards too and then you also got you got this one right here too with him and his dog now still book for number one beautiful 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 Still book for number two. Two. And you got still book for number three. You also got another special edition on four, but we're thinking about what to do with it yet because it came damaged. So I don't know. But this is chapter three. Really beautiful still books. And then did you go check it out on Best Buy, but I think it is sold out. I don't know. But yeah, there it is, you guys. Um, give me a like. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up on it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, much love to everybody. Hope, hopefully everybody likes what they've seen uh, here tonight and likes the new pickups. Like I said, much love to y'all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I am Gorophobe, and you are not. Take it easy.